This is a profit spawn that is exclusively for knights, the Orcs Calls of Edron. This spawn is located to the southwest of Edron through the apartment complex, and this was added back in 2017 to the regular Orc Cave in Edron. And to this date, it still remains very forgotten, as it is just about average when it comes to experience. But it can be good for making profit. I am recommending this for over level 130s, because if you don't have tier 3 imbuements, then it will be hard to hunt at lower levels. But with decent skills and imbuements, it can be done earlier than that. This is actually a spawn that I forgot to try out with my knight at the new server, aka the one with low skills, because that is just how rare it is for someone to hunt here. But I did try it with my high skills knight at level 153, skills 123, and I was doing over 1.1kk raw experience. But since this recording is quite old, I wanted to try it again with my other EK of skills 117 and level 128, and the raw experience I was making was of also over 1.1kk. However, the experience is still pretty decent for this level range, and even with the lower skills, I will spec around 1kk raw XP. Also, even though this is not the usual comparison that I do, since both are good skills character, it shows that the spawn doesn't get better than that, since it is small enough that even with hunting 3 floors, there is not much room for improvements, which by the way, this cave is part of the Calls of Tivia quest, so there is a small access you must do in order to go further down the cave. And what you need to do in order to get past the barriers to the other floors is to be transformed in a specific type of orc. On the first floor, you must be a normal orc. For the second one, you must be an orc warlord. And then for the last one, which is to access the boss to the questline, you must be an orc priest. And the way to get transformed is just to get hit by an orc called priest and wait until he turns you into the right one. Once he does, go through the barrier and this only needs to be done once for permanent access. Now with that aside, let's talk about the profit, which should be the main goal of hunting here. The spawn itself is already profitable, since the Gold Inquisitors drop warrior helmets very commonly, but additionally, the main source of profit comes in creature products, and there is three different ones to watch out for. The main one will be the Broken Shamanic Staffs, used for the magic level imbuement and on high demand on all servers. Then next up is the green pieces of cloth. The price for this will vary from server to server, but they are still rare enough to be over 2k most of the times. And lastly, the orc tooths. These are used for the axe imbuement. They are not a commonly farmed creature product, so their price could be high on your server, but it comes down to the demand for them from the axe players, which could be pretty low. But even then, you can sell them for more than NPC price. On my level 128, in 20 minutes, I got 35k of profit in the analyzer from common drops, and had 11 green pieces, 7 staffs, and 13 orc toots. And with the prices of my server, Shanera, that's over 70k in creature products, so we're talking of around 300k profit the hour, which is very high for this level range. However, do keep in mind that this changes from server to server, and even though the green pieces of clothes tend to be expensive, they are also not on high demand like the broken stuff, so it might take some time to turn your loot into actual gold. And that's all I got for this video, thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Tuna Hero, Dirty Slasher, and Drunken Watson.